Class 10D, when I wasn't there. Student Carrie, who had punched me earlier, angrily said. That damn homeroom teacher. When he comes back, I will definitely punch him to vent my anger. If I can't do it, I'll eat noodles with my nose. The student with a smart face smiled. Very good. I recorded it. Remember to keep your promise. The classes are now starting the last period, the teachers in the school are almost all in the classroom, so when I returned to the school with a completely different appearance, no one noticed. Before returning to the room of class 10D, I turned on my phone to check the general chat group of the teachers in the school. Thereby, I knew that, in the periods where I was absent, a few more teachers suffered minor injuries while teaching in class 10D. It was probably the students who took out their anger on the teachers after seeing that they couldn't do anything about me just now. I left an apologetic message. I was scrolling through old messages and I also read some messages discussing my sudden leave from school because I couldn't stand class 10D, but I didn't care too much. The last period of class 10D is the homeroom period, so my destination right now is the room of class 10D. From afar, I can still hear the noise and bustle coming from the classroom just like at the beginning of the class. Among them, of course, there will be some students who do not sit still at their desks, but run around from the classroom. So, when I approached the classroom, they noticed my presence. Their faces flashed with surprise. Then they ran all the way back to the classroom. Shouting. A girl. There's a girl now. I entered the classroom and walked over to the teacher's desk. After that, I clapped my hands to show that I wanted the whole class to be quiet and pay attention to me. What surprised me, this time, all the students in the class were really quiet and orderly. Students who left their desks soon returned to their desks. All of the students had bewildered faces, which made me smile a bit. One student couldn't help but ask. Ah, may I ask who you are? I replied in a clearer and sweeter voice. At the beginning of the class, I remember I introduced myself. I'm Deva, the homeroom teacher of this class from now until the end of the school year. It was completely natural for me to use a different voice. I used to take vocal training courses, so I can easily change my voice to become more feminine. Although this is not necessary, I still want to do it, simply because no one wants to see a girl talking in a male voice, right? At this moment, the whole class suddenly became noisy again. The discussion around began to appear. Really? Unexpectedly, the girly guy from before and the beautiful girl in front of us is now a person. Unbelievable. I'm starting to doubt my gender. Why do I know he's a man but I still feel embarrassed, man? I clapped my hands again. Silence. If you have any questions, feel free to ask questions and I will answer them. A student raised his hand. I allowed him to stand up. He asked. May I ask, are you a man or a woman? What is this about? I replied slowly. I'm man, here's a special method I came up with to help our class better. Another student asked. So can we call you Miss instead of Mr? I replied. It doesn't matter how you address me, you can call me whatever you want. A series of questions were posed by the students, and I answered them one by one. The surprise here, the devil students of class 10D are subconsciously becoming more polite and respectful. Even if there was another person in this school witnessing the scene of the 10D classroom right now, they would surely doubt whether they were dreaming or not. Although I appeared calm on the outside, on the inside, I was quite surprised by the effect this method brought. I was prepared mentally to be harassed by these students, but perhaps I underestimated their level of lack of contact with women. They were completely happy when they saw me in the form of a girl. After a while, no one posed questions, I said a few words. Besides the role of homeroom teacher, I will teach you math. Although I only teach you one subject, I think I am still capable of answering questions in other subjects for you. 
So if you have any questions about the lectures, but it is not convenient to ask the subject teacher, you can also ask me. I also repeat a bit about the situation of our class. Your scores are ranked in last place in the 10th grade of this school. I want you to be able to improve your score next time, for your own future, okay? The students replied in unison. Yes, on, on one, one condition. condition. I asked. What condition? One student stood up and replied. We want you to always appear like this, okay? I nodded. I can do it. In fact, I also do this because I want to change your minds. But I also have one condition, that in other periods, you also have to respect the subject teachers. The students said in unison. Yes, no, no problem. problem. After hearing their answers, I unintentionally smiled. The 10D students once again rioted. Oh my god. Deadly smile. She killed me, man. Some of the students even blushed, making me laugh silently. No matter how disruptive they are, they are still immature children. I entered the class a few minutes after the last period started, so I only answered questions for the students and gave a little instruction when the bell rang for the end of the class. The students of class 10D said goodbye to me warmly and continued to prepare to pack up their notebooks to go home. At the back of the class, the student with a smart face walked over and patted Carrie's shoulder. He smiled and said, Prepare to fulfill your promise. We're waiting for you at the school gate. After saying that, he led a group of students out of the classroom. Because I was busy arranging new teaching materials, I still did not leave the classroom. At this point, almost all the students in class 10D had left the classroom, but there was still one boy left. I realized he was the same guy who tried to punch me earlier but failed. I didn't know what he was doing in class, so I ignored him. The silence lasted for a while, then Carrie began to speak. Ah. I turned to him and asked. What's wrong with you? Carrie still faltered, unable to say a complete sentence. Actually. I said. What? Do you still want to beat me up? If that makes you more comfortable then I can let you hit, as long as after this, you're serious about studying. Carrie replied as soon as I finished. No. I tilted my head again and asked. So what? I swear I just tilted my head by accident, but it seems to the eyes of these students that it's cute. Carrie suddenly blushed. I. I want to apologize for my actions earlier. After saying that, Carrie silently looked up at me with an embarrassed expression. I was also silent for a while. A few seconds later, I realized if I didn't say anything, he will stood there forever, so I uttered a few simple words. Ah, so that's it. Carrie stammered and continued. You. Is your hand hurt? I replied. It's nothing serious. It only hurts for a moment. While saying that, I reached my other hand and pointed at the arm that grabbed his fist earlier. Unexpectedly, Carrie quickly grabbed my arm, gently rubbed it and said urgently. Sorry, I didn't mean it. Well, actually, I did it on purpose earlier. But. I chuckled at Carrie's awkward expression now. This boy is a little cute. I raised my other hand and gently stroked his hair. I told you it was okay so you don't have to blame yourself. Apologies are not necessary, as long as you try to change in the future, I will be happy. Carrie's face is now redder than ever. He bowed to me. Yes, I will try to study hard so as not to disappoint you. As soon as he finished speaking, Carrie ran out of the classroom. I shook my head slightly, feeling a little happy inside. Carrie ran to the school gate and met a group of students. The student with a smart face asked. What's up? Have a good fight yet? Carrie coldly glanced at him, a far cry from the awkward expression he had when facing me earlier. Let's go. The other student asked. Where are we going? Carrie replied with an emotionless face. 
go to the noodle restaurant. After saying that, Carrie walked away, leaving them all bewildered. The student with a smart face smiled thoughtfully, 